2K, 4.48 in the morning, 50 degrees. Sun's not up yet, but this is the... Uh, Oh, well, I saw a plane. Well, look at the planes way up there. I don't know what they're doing. Of course, people, some people think we're at the getting vapor trails on us. Look at that thing, putting vapor trails on us again. Gosh darn them. I wish they would quit putting vapor trails on us. Of course, down there, the people are going to be mad because I am making fun of their vapor trails. But it's a quiet time, it's a beautiful time. Uh, so I have my um, short sleeve shirt on. But I gotta go see my daughter. I had to take help with my son, now I gotta go sell help my daughter. But I have, it's fine, I just, need to be around those kids, those little grandkids, as much as possible. I mean, they're just still, um, we're going through some tough, tough stuff. I think, I don't know. I mean, if you're not around, don't go through tough stuff. They're not gonna, I'm not gonna let them go through tough stuff without me around. Plane's still up there. Beautiful day, it's gonna be beautiful. Building new things over there. This is Lake Otis. And I don't, I don't really know what time the sun comes up. But they say 19 and a half hours. Okay, so went down 11.30. Um, so it should be up uh, pretty close to now, but it's not. Kinda wish I was on the hillside. I could because the sun's not that far below the horizon, but it hasn't broken the horizon yet. It's a quiet time in the old Anchorage. Probably won't talk much. There's another plane. Oh, that's the same one. But they're going, you know, there's two of them, the old Kim trails. They fly this oh, us over. That's the great. If you want to know what route that is, that's the Great Circle route. It's faster for the planes to fly up to Alaska, and they used to all line land up here. They used to land up. Um, This would be the crossroads of the world. Yep, see, it's not quite a. The planes actually got faster. So, or, well, they don't got faster, but since. In the 50s and 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, till Readout Volcano. And when that happened, it knocked the one plane out of the sky, a KLM 747. And, um, probably clear. 747, it, it, the, the volcanic ash went to the engines, turned to glass on the thing, on the fans, started to come down. It was at 30, uh, I, I thought that was started at 40,000 feet, but this wasn't the only time it happened. But it did um, knock the plane out of the sky. Um, well, again, that's not true either. It knocked it from 40,000 feet to 30 to 10,000 feet. He got his engine started, and then he had a crippling. Um, um, well, the, 
the pilot got it back, but it was crippled and it couldn't go on. Oh, look at that. intersection that is a hill in every direction. Anyhow, knocked the thing out of the sky, fell into the anchorage and uh, came into anchorage and it uh, uh, landed and and they were going to pull out KLM but then that just hastened it. And I don't know, I think it was 84, it might have been 85, 86, 87. Sunrise on that side of the building over there. The road closed ahead. So, then the other planes, they got the, uh, the it was a 747 ones. And when you started to see tips at the end, the big 747s like that, now they all had, but they started up using those planes, that was it, they flew, oh, and the other thing that happened, the Russians started to allow everybody to go over their territory, like Japan Airlines, it was, um, Japan Airlines, would fly from Japan to Europe. They would come to the over the pole. So the Korean Airlines, so the France, British Airways, um, oh, Aeroflot.